Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And thanks so much for the few Patreons that I do have that help support this channel. Much appreciated. And remember, folks, it's Just Whiskey. And I'm wearing my, uh, my Octomore shirt that... Uh, Brook Laddie sent to me um, because I complained about broken corks a long time ago. A couple of my old Octomores um, had some broken corks and I emailed them with my concerns and they sent me an Octomore t-shirt. So by no means is this sponsored by Brook Laddie, um, but sometimes it's worth it's worth your effort to complain. Um, I wasn't looking for anything. Um, and they actually sent me some replacement corks as well. Okay, so um, I'm a big fan of, of Brook Lottie, um, of, of what they do on, um, on the Isle of Isla in Scotland. And today we're going to be talking about and reviewing the Brook Lottie Beer Bali 2010. Um, and then after the review, I'm going to quickly compare it to the Beer Bali 2012, which I've previously reviewed. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of, of, of Brook Lottie and the Octomores and the Port Charlottes. So the Beer Bali is non-peated. Um, they're all 50% uh, ABV, non-chill filtered, non no coloring added. And so this was distilled in 2010 and bottled in 2019, but it, this is a eight year old. Okay. Um, and it's my understanding. It's a hundred percent ex bourbon and every year they release one of these and they focus on barley that is harvested from various farms, specific farms. So every year is a little, a little bit different. Um, so it does matter what variety of, of, of barley is being used. And beer barley is one of the most, uh, I think it's the oldest uh, cultivated barley on the planet. And my understanding, it's also very hard to work with. So um, that means the price is a little bit higher than, or a lot higher than maybe your classic laddie offering. So this is a eight-year-old to 2010 is a eight-year-old um, and it retails if you can still find it from between 110 to 130 dollars i paid 110 and the 2012 um, i believe i paid 110 as well um, so check out my review of the brook lottie 2012 um, but today we're going to be mostly focusing on the beer about brook lottie beer barley 2010 okay on the nose um it's got a a farmyard funk to it there's a little bit of dill in there and when i was a kid i don't know about how, how old my viewers are but when i was a kid we were forced to take medicine every now and then and this has that like that that medicine that you weren't really fond of <laughs> as a kid, but you were forced to take a teaspoon or a tablespoon of it, you know. Um, it's got it's got that, it's not medicinal by any means, but it has that that medicine that we were forced to take 50 years ago, you know, um, or 55 years ago. Um, there's some vanilla cream in there from the ex-bourbon. Fermented fruits rotting fruits and if i had to sum up the nose in one word it would be cantaloupe overripe cantaloupe maybe even on the even a little bit more than overripe cantaloupe that would sum this up in one word um but yeah a little that you have that vegetal funk going on there that farmyard barnyard thing going on okay palette
it's sweet, um, sweeter than the 2012. Again, on the palate, you're picking up that cantaloupe, that that barnyard vegetal. You definitely get, I'm, I'm going to call it a barley bite. Um, probably similar to a rye whiskey, a rye bite. Um, but you're getting that, a barley bite in here. Um, it's, it, it has that tongue prickle uh, associated with that. Um, a nice, a, a nice mouthfeel. That cantaloupe is, is that's how I'm going to describe it. The, the cantaloupe is, uh, the overripe cantaloupe is prominent on the palate as well. Uh, finish. The finish is medium. Medium. I've played around with water. It does swim well. It, um, a few drops of water will definitely uh, accentuate your nose and palate, everything I've just described. Um, comparing, comparing this to the 2012, generalizing, this 2010 is a bit more hefty, and it's got more funk, and that fermented cantaloupe. Um, I think if so, if somebody ha has tried Kilcarin heavily peated and and they like that sensation, even though this Brooklady is not peated, but the Kilcarin heavily peated, if you're a fan of that, I think you would appreciate <clears throat> this Brooklady 2010. Um, mm, yeah. All right. Um, so. Score-wise, for me, on the 2010, um, for my enjoyment, this is where the scores get kind of complicated. But for my enjoyment, I'm going to score this an 86 to an 87. But this is, this is quality. And if you appreciate what I've just described to you, then I think this could easily score higher. So the quality is... Is higher there but for my enjoyment 86 to an 87 all right um, roughly compare I'm not going to go into too deep dive of the comparing it to 2012 please watch the 2012 review but they are very different and the Brook Lottie 2012 the nose is completely different the 2012 is lacking. There's there's no cantaloupe in here. There's no farmyard funk. There's no vegetal funk in this. It's more on the nose and the palate. 2012 uh, has more spearmint, clove, herbal. It's it's less sweet. The Brook Lottie 2012 is, is, is my opinion, from my experience, from my enjoyment. It's more, it's more balanced. It's more accessible. It's more of what you probably would expect from the Brook Lottie Classic Lottie kind of a thing, but amped up. The Brook Lottie 2012, this is a 10-year-old. So this has two years more than this, which has really uh, smoothed out any rough edges that the 2010 had um yeah so 2012 even that's those are my cats making noise um so this is a bit more refined uh the two years uh, extended maturation has done it justice um and i did score this higher um i scored this previously um between an 89 and a 90 okay so I'm not saying that this is better than the 2000, I'm not saying the 2012 is better than the 2010. I'm just saying for my enjoyment, I prefer the 2012 over the 2010. Um, yeah, uh, I think that about sums it up. I don't want to go into too much of a length here. Um, yeah, 
Remember folks, it's just whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. So hats off to you all and take care folks.